Okay, let's think about keywords. In the previous videos, we started with a very basic search and only used one word. Poverty. But that search gave us over 600,000 results. If we have a better idea of what we're looking for, then we can include more words, which will give us less results. It might seem counterintuitive that by using more words, we get less results, but it's because we're being more specific about what it is that we're looking for. Let's stick with our theme of poverty and say that we're curious or interested in exploring and learning more about poverty and how it impacts mental health. So here's our question. And we need to identify the keywords. Keywords are core concepts or ideas of our question. So if we think about the keywords of this question, they are poverty, impact, and mental health. And since we want specific and most importantly, relevant results, using these keywords will make the research process much easier. So let's give it a go. I'm going to run the search with the words poverty, impact, and mental health. We can see already that we get much less results. And if we look at our results, we can see that some of the words are maybe a bit scattered. So we can see health showing up here. We see mental disorders. We see health services utilization. And that's because one search is searching for the words mental health together, but they're also, or it is also looking for the word mental and health. If we want one search to search for mental health as a phrase, we need to put the words mental health in quotation marks. So now if we run a search with the words mental health in quotation marks, you can see that we get very similar results, but there's about 500 less to consider. So using quotation marks can make quite the difference in your research. Something else we can do that will make our research the best it can be is to use the asterisks or star to capture concepts. Let's say we're interested in how poverty impacts mental health in Canada. But we know that we might be interested in Canada, Canadian, and Canadians. To run a search that will encompass all of these ideas, we take the root of the word and add an asterisk or a star to the end of it. This will run a search that will capture all of these ideas. I mean, of course you could run the search three times, but why would you do that when you can just use the star? So to recap, keywords are the core ideas of what a piece of information is about. And I'd like to mention quickly that research is a technical process that does require creativity. So you need to be tactical, but open to changing the keywords that you use. Because the keywords that you begin with might be too informal, and there might be a more precise word that captures the key concept of what you're looking for. Look for the technical language in the subjects of the records in your search results. And remember that the more keywords you use, the less results you're likely to get, which can sometimes be a good thing. When you want to search something as a phrase, put those words in quotation marks. When there are multiple versions of the same word, like Canada, Canadian, and Canadians, you can capture all of those words in a search by using the star after the root of the word. Please remember, these videos are meant to be a quick and basic introduction to big ideas. If you have any problems along the way, please get in touch with someone at the library, either through our chat service, by texting us, you could call us, email, of, email us, or best of all, you could come and see us in person. You can even make a research appointment with a librarian. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.